Hello AGDQ judges and welcome to Age of Mythology. This is a real-time strategy game that came out in 2002, I believe. Uh, for the speedrun, there are um, several different cate categories. Um, this is a very long, um, a very long campaign with with uh, 32 levels, so the speedrun is very short. Now this is uh, this campaign here is a very good uh, speed game uh, because it has a lot of skips and. Uh, a lot of stats uh, that make the run about 1 hour 15. Uh, what I will be doing today is the Golden Gift, which is a bonus campaign uh, official that used to be on the uh, official website. Uh, this is 4 levels and we're playing on easy. Let's go. Many so the first thing that I'm going to do is send this cavalry over there and uh, use some of these guys. To harvest resources and send my heroes over there. Now the objective in this mission is to um, make four ox cars, these things right here, and um, send one of my heroes and uh, those four ox cars to the other side of the map. There is a um, um, optional objective in this mission, which makes it much faster. So I'm going to go for that. So I am rescuing some cows, uh, so that um, a guy who's up there will make um, an underworld passage, which means that I can teleport to the other side of the map. So I'm gonna send all of my units over there. My heroes cleared up a path. And here's the guy. Of course, voice lines are. Uh, voice lines are. Uh, going over each other. Uh, here, I, I just need to wait for that cow to reach that. Meanwhile, my other guys are coming. I'm going to make these Oscars my only one. The reason why I use forest fire there uh, to burn the trees is to make a passage so I can go through. And I just need to destroy a wall here. And so I just need to reach here. The reason why I destroyed the trees over here is so that they created an opening for my guys to pass through. And here I just need to distract the town center so it doesn't attack the off cards coming through. Oh god. And as soon as this guy uh, reaches over here, that's mission complete. Unfortunately, that was a bit low. But the run is still pretty short because it's only four maps. Skip. 
Now here, um, here I need to grab uh, 240 wood, uh, build a dock, build a um, ship to go and send this here and a few dwarves to the other end of the map again. I'm going to manage my uh, armies a bit. That's enough for a dock. Now I need 120 more for the ship. And if these guys to get out of the way, um, one of them will be there. These guys over there. <laughs> and off we go. Now here I can just run through everything without being um, killed, hopefully. Sometimes I get uh, quite a bit of damage, but um, it seems to be consistently working. And here I stay on the right because of the Kraken over there. And that was actually pretty close. The Kraken uh, can uh, destroy ships in uh, one hit. And if it destroyed that ship, then uh, there will be a big problem. Not the bear is not a huge problem though. Uh, here I use the first power to freeze that wolf up there, hopefully, and all these guys over here. Otherwise they might attack me. The wolf did not get frozen, so I'll ju just uh, send the heal over there to distract him. And there we go. Now here is the hardest uh, mission in the campaign. So here what, what happens is uh, Normally, in a casual play, this mission would be on a timer where I need to capture the forge before this timer runs out and uh, once I capture the forge, there is another timer and when the timer runs out, I win. We skip all of that by destroying all of the, unit, all of the enemy units. So that means these heroes over there and the enemy town center, which is on the left side of the map, on the west. Yeah, I spread my units out a bit because I want to see this guy right here. He uh, is random where he goes and we need to kill him, uh, otherwise we need to chase him afterwards and uh, that's not what we want. So I have that guy go after him, uh, unfortunately they didn't kill him. But if I don't, uh, if I just chase him now, uh, then I'll be late for this. Unfortunately, they have the same speed. So here I'm just going to destroy everything. Yeah. 
पेट था ये समथिंग Oh god. We want this guy dead. Because if he runs off, then we have to chase him. Okay. Where are you going? Thank you. Well, this guy is top priority right now. He's dead. And we need to kill all these guys. And we should be done. Yep. Now uh, the Zone Skipper will cut in. And afterwards, there will be the last mission in the campaign. Um, in that mission, I will Not use my all stats. Your idea? That's ridiculous! Why, I... Scout! What are you doing here? Thank you for building this door for me, little friends. You have been quite... predictable. Eitri, <laughs> <laughs> brother. This was all the work of Loki. He fooled us into fighting each other. The stolen Freya's gift. We got to get that boar back. <laughs> so this is the last uh, mission it of this campaign. The gods of Asgard will grant blessings Skip upon hand. any who destroy Loki's temples in these mountains. So here what I'm going to do is uh, these two guys need to reach uh, about this place over here now. There are a lot of enemies in the way but uh, the enemy actually has an AI in this mission. And we are actually uh, in normally in, um, in the story missions uh, the developers hide the diplomacy so that we can't change diplomacy with um, any of the AI players because that kind of breaks the game if we can do that. In this map they forgot to remove the option to change diplomacy so we can actually change diplomacy with the enemy here. This will be the enemy town but I set him as ally and because he has an AI he sets me back as ally so I can just go through his walls without problems and he won't attack me. Now these units over here, this tempo, those are uh, another player. That is another AI player that however does not have an AI so he will not set me back as an, as an ally. So I don't need to do anything there. Now I'm destroying two temples in very specific locations. What that does is in this map if we destroy temples uh, we get god powers. And this god power in particular will um, will destroy walls, and that's exactly what we want uh, in this mission. There are two walls that we need to destroy, and we have two of these god powers now because we destroyed those temples. Any other temples will give him will give me different god powers, which are not too useful. Here is the first wall. As you can see, it's destroyed. And we are almost there. Help. 
that's the second wall. And that is time. 1416, um, mainly messed up at um, the first and third levels. Oh, here, if we skip the cutscene, we actually go into the map and can move around for a bit before the game actually kicks us back to the main menu. Which is cool. Anyway, that was Age of Mythology, the Golden Gift campaign. Thank you all for watching, and I hope this game makes it into AGDQ. I, I think it will be mm, a great addition. It's a rather short run, so it, it can be a bit of a break between long runs or uh, something like that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.